What is God's will for your life? Well, there are two daily requirements that you need to be following today in order to be in God's will today and to set you up to be in God's will tomorrow. What are these two requirements? One is you got to be filled with the Spirit. The second is you got to be filled with the Word. It says in Ephesians chapter 5, Don't be foolish, but understand what the will of the Lord is. Don't be drunk with alcohol, but be filled by the Holy Spirit. Be controlled by the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is God, and God is infinite, and God knows everything about everybody, about every situation, every day, all the time. God knows the past, the present, and the future. You want Him guiding your life. Well, the Holy Spirit is God, and He is God in you. He's right there resident to help you, to guide you. We read in Romans that it's the children of God who are led by the Spirit of God. Jesus said, I'm going to give you my Spirit, in John 16, who will guide you and reveal to you and teach you all truth. So the Holy Spirit is there. God put Him in your life to guide your life. So it's a daily requirement that you yield control of your life to the Holy Spirit. Get up every day and say, fill me, Holy Spirit. Fill me, God, with the Holy Spirit. I want to be filled. I want to be controlled. I want my thoughts, my mind, my words, my attitudes to be controlled by your Spirit today. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. God's will is good, and God's plan for your life is good. You've got to surrender your life to Him, and then that's a big commitment. We talked about that yesterday, but then you've got to surrender your life to Him every single day. Here's my life. You go into a new situation. Fill me, Holy Spirit, with the right thoughts, the right words. Guide this conversation. Guide this situation. Be filled with the Spirit. Second daily requirement is be filled with with the Word of God. David said in Psalm 119, 105, Your Word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. It guides my steps. How is that possible? Because it is the Word of God. God's will is found in God's Word. God's Word is never going to contradict His will, and His will is never going to contradict His Word. I, I it, God's not going to guide you to lie or cheat or steal or commit immorality or adultery. I had a man uh, tell me he, he, was, he was having an affair with another woman, and, and I said, you can't do that. That's, that's wrong. And he said, I believe it's God's will for my life. I said, how on earth can you possibly say that? He said, well, it's what makes me happy. And doesn't, isn't God's will to make me happy? I said, no, the Bible never says God's will is to make you happy. The Bible says it's God's will to make you holy. And when you're holy, then you experience joy, which is a whole better thing than happiness. God's will is never going to contradict God's word. You, You find God's will by studying God's word. And God's word has a wonderful power to keep you on the path of God's will every day. It says in 2 Timothy chapter 3, In verse 16, it says, All Scripture is given by the breath, the inspiration of God, and is profitable for doctrine, that's teaching, telling you how to get on the path of God's will. For reproof, that tells you where you got off the path of God's will. For correction, it tells you how to get back on the path of God's will. And instruction in righteousness, it tells you how to stay on the path of God's will. So you need to read the Bible every day. You need to study it. Think it through. Think about what you're reading. Memorize the the verses that, that, that are key, that are significant. Memorize the Word of God. Apply it to your life. Teach it to others. Live a Word filled life. Live a Spirit filled life. Those are two requirements that you do every day to position yourself today so that you will be in God's will today, and you will end up being in God's will tomorrow. If I'm in God's will every day, I will end up being in God's will tomorrow. But I've got to be filled with the Word and filled with the Spirit. This is Dave Early, and if you like this type of Bible teaching, we do this every day. 
five days a week, daily discipleship. You can like this page on Facebook, or you can subscribe to the YouTube channel, Dave Early Ministries. We'd love to have you follow us every day as you grow in your relationship with God.